Hey gang, great to be back with you. In this video, we have three things I'm going to show you, which is going to dramatically improve your results in ChatGPT. And I've got some uh, examples so you can see how these little tweaks make a big difference. Now, in a uh, previous video, I went through the results of a paper presented by a team from Google DeepMind AI Research Lab, where they discovered things about training data and how important that is, phrases that you can use that make such a big difference, and how little tiny tweaks can really change the output of what you're doing. Not something that's a surprise to those of you who are following along with the channel. I thought today what I'd do is just demonstrate three of those things for you on the computer so you can apply these straight away and just get instantly better results. The first thing I want to show you here is training data. When you are building a prompt, when you wanted to do a um, complex actions like creating some ads or some copy in your particular style, putting in an example or two of the type of output framing the prompt and of course ChatGPT or Claude or whatever you're using works really well. In this next part, you can see where we've got an example of the ad itself. It's really immaterial what the prompt actually does. I just want to show you the impact that adding training data makes. So if you look at the output here, pretty darn good. You can see it's added in the actual training categories like insight and so on. That's fine. I'd probably ask it to remove those headings because I'd really want to cut and paste this, but it's really pretty darn good. However, as they say in the classics, that's not all. The second thing I wanted to test was a phrase they found dramatically improved the performance across all of the different large language models. Didn't matter which one you were using. You might recall it. It's let's take a deep breath and take this step by step. When I'm working with AI, particularly in copy, it tends to summarize. It tends to be very succinct. And normally that's a really good thing. If you click down below, there's a link to the newsletter. And in that newsletter, subscribe up and you'll get the actual chat GPT conversations. So you can look at the training data and you see the results. So that's uh, pretty cool. So check that down below. So the other thing I added, literally one change. And the change was this word count. Change one, deep breath. Change two, literally adding in the word or phrase word count. Have a look at this. The copy is just Fantastic. It's so good, in fact, that there's no way that I'd come up with that in the time, obviously, but it's pretty much good to go. I should also say I'm using the custom instructions. That's a feature we've talked about in past videos as well. And again, if you subscribe to the newsletter, you've got access to the whole archive of all of these things in, the, in my Substack. So with custom instructions plus training data, plus the word count phrase, plus let's take a deep breath. Wow, we. There is three simple things that you can do to your prompt that just make a really significant difference. It's pretty exciting. Have a go. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear and see examples. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. Link is below in the description. And I'll speak to you soon.